Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here. Uh, today I'm introducing a new tool that I came across uh, called Gravity Scan. Now, if you saw my one of my videos earlier on uh, the Word Fence WordPress um, plugin, this is the company behind this tool. Um, so what this tool does is it's a remote vulnerability scan, malware scan, um, and stuff like that of your web domain. Now, I mean, you know, I've covered many tools on how to do this, but this makes it very accessible and it makes it very user friendly, uh, to scan your website for any vulnerabilities that there may be and stuff like that. And a nice web interface. Um, so it's a free tool on the surface. They also have a, um, they also have like a pricing plan, you know, for more comprehensive scans and stuff like that. Um, but for now I'm just going to use the, um, the free version. So I'll use my website, chamancini.com. And I'm just waiting for a, the scan to complete. And this is all in real time. So I will wait for that. And in the meantime, I'm going to use the demo.gravityscan.com. Uh, the reason why I'm using this as well is they have, uh, there's going to be one where everything is good, which is my site, and then one where they intentionally put some vulnerabilities. So I want to show you the difference. Okay, so as it shows up, so one of them is saying um, that uh, the HTTP security header information. So if I hit expand, um, you're going to see uh, that, you know, I have an HTTP uh, security header. Uh, that's thanks to Cloudflare. Uh, and also because I'm using Cloudflare, uh, the site, um, all these requests hit that Cloudflare CDN network. Um, so it's really getting filtered through too. Okay. So um, while this is still scanning, we'll go over to this uh, scan, which is already complete. And you'll see that there are some, um, there are some concerns that has already come. So um, it'll say that a link advertising Asian music found uh, injected into a compromised website. So if we go expand, we'll see that there's a warning and that there's a spam link that's been found on this site. Now it's not showing malware that's like on the server. It's showing links to malware um, from this type of scan. They do have a WordPress plugin that I have not played around with yet. But I suspect that they may be able, because that resides on the server as a client, maybe be able to look. Because WordFence itself, as a, Word pl a WordPress plugin, um, has the ability to check for certain malware and stuff like that, that that's on the, the server itself. So they have a few critical things here, which I suspect is intentional. That for because you know it's a demo, so we want to don't want to see everything that's just perfect. So these are examples of some of the things that it's scanning, and it scans for the most uh, important stuff like uh, server configuration. Um, you know, uh, we're running an older version of Apache with known vulnerabilities and stuff like that. So if we go over to my scan. On a fully protected server, you'll see that you know everything checks out. This is a very um, nice tool to have in your toolbox. Uh, aside from, you know, Nick Toe and um, OWASP and all those other uh, site scans and stuff like that that you can do, this is a nice web interface that makes security more accessible for more users. And uh, the feature so logging in okay so you can just you can log in i have it on google and you'll see that uh you can add sites and um you know w once you add sites you can run scans from here you can uh put more settings um 
you know, there's more settings for remote scans and stuff like that, which some of it I have not played around with, but um, I'm assuming that they may have some other features um, to allow maybe for uh, scheduled scans and stuff like that. So you got to scan like a week or every other day or something like that, which would be kind of cool. <clears throat> And um, you'll see that they have the install the gravity scan accelerator. Okay. So um, you can go ahead and you have to verify that you own the site and uh, install this on your web server. Sorry, it wasn't a WordPress um, specific. Uh, this was actually on the web server. So scratch about scratch that about the WordPress. I got confused with the word fence plugin. So this will, you have to download onto your web server, which I'll, I'll, when I get a minute, I'll install it on my web server and I'll make another video once I've played around with it as a follow-up to this. So I hope you found this tool and uh, this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to visit my website, seanmancini.com. And I'm always available by email, sean at seanmancini.com. Have a good one, guys. Bye.